Joining me to break it all down, Fox Business Network's Dagan McDowell, Benchmark Managing Partner Kevin Kelly, and Independent Women's Voice CEO Heather Higgins. Great to see you this morning. Nice to be here. It's good to start the week off with thinking there would be new, new tax cuts, right? Tax cuts 2.0, making things permanent. That's a great way to start the week. It's yeah. an excellent way to go into <laughs> yeah. midterms. Oh, that's, yeah. That's for sure. President Trump's trying to get that economy because that's his strongest issue, number one in the eyes of voters. Because of the latest Fox News poll, it was actually health care. And... Republicans are a little bit back on their heels on the health care issue. Well, that's why he's been talking about pre-existing conditions, too. Right. Well, because they're running 50 percent of the ads that Democrats are running are about health care and many of them focusing on pre-existing conditions and trying to message that Republicans want to remove those protections. But in terms of the polling, 47 percent approval rating for the president, according to the new Wall Street Journal poll, his highest and during his time in office, the enthusiasm gap has closed to four percentage points. That's the, a very small um, advantage for the Democrats. And to Heather's point earlier, the Cook Report, nonpartisan, finds the parties are dead even on the question of who should con control Congress in districts rated as the most competitive. Mm -hmm. Dead even. And there was a 13 percentage point <laughs> advantage for the Democrats just in last month's poll among registered voters. Well, so that, that, that advantage has disappeared. Mm. I can tell you why. I saw an ad this weekend. And it's like, do you want Nancy Pelosi to be the Speaker of the House? And I was like, no. I was want, like, do, I would want, <laughs> yeah, do you want Maxine Waters running the Financial Services yeah. Committee? Do you want Elijah Cummings or Jerry Nadler running is, the uh, judiciary? That is the best. That's the best ad. It's like, OK, you don't have to like us. You just don't want them to be in okay. control. And power. In fact, when I wrote the piece publicly predicting that Trump was going to win when he was at his nadir that August, um, I said, what's going to happen to Republican voters, even those who don't like how Trump talks and don't like other things about him, they're going to look at the alternative of what Hillary would mean in terms of continued policies, et cetera, and they're going to hold their noses and they're going to vote for Trump and, and join the people who were voting for him. And the same thing is going to happen with these midterm elections. While the spin is being put on it, which is not incorrect, that if the Republicans lose the House, this creates a fantastic foil for Trump and almost guarantees re-election in 2020. The, the reality is, is that he wants a Republican Congress because he's running on fulfilling his promises and getting things done, which is also going to make him impossible to beat in 2020. Agreed. What you're seeing well, in the polls is exactly what all of our work all this year was. And we kept saying to the Republicans, the economy alone is not going to be your winning issue. You're going to get really taken to the cleaners by the left on health care and on your your supposed cruelty on immigration, and you better be prepared. It, it looks like the president at this point is expecting Biden to be on the other side uh, of, of the podium uh, in 2020. He's at the top of polls in terms of the de Democratic contenders. but And the president now has a name for him, 1%, Joe, 1%. I, uh, He's, or, or, or something else. Well, who's when the names came or? out this weekend, you knew that, okay, well, this is who the president is taking serious. But, it, but, it, but it's also that the public said this because Biden is the best, well, best known name, right, in their heads in terms of a presidential aspiration. Over time, that's going to shift. Biden tends to want to be anointed, not to actually have to work for things. And, and so he I also don't... has had historically had a lot of trouble fundraising. Yes. So that that is to his disadvantage in terms of running for the Democratic nomination. Which is what keeps Nancy Pelosi front and center in the yes. party. She's a great fundraiser. Phenomenal. Money talks yeah. and... Something else walks. So, actually, something <laughs> else actually talks, too. <laughs>